everybody. I'm very pleased to be here and to be in front of such uh, uh, amount of uh, variety of nationalities. It's very impressive and uh, such amount of partners. It's a, it's a good point to meet everybody and I'm very pleased to be there. So, um, as you have seen in the former presentation, uh, it's high time we change our uh, agricultural way of uh, doing because the overuse of uh, chemical products has uh, led to uh, uh, threats to human health. And so that's why I'm very pleased to uh, present you now the global strategy of Allmix uh, to uh, tackle this new uh, challenge of new uh, agricultural methods. And you will see that Allmix is really uh, at the moment at the right place, uh, at, the, at the right place at the right moment, because we have a lot of solutions to, um, to develop for new agriculture. So the ambition of uh, Allmix Group is uh, to feed tomorrow uh, 9 billion people in a healthy and sustainable way. So that is the main challenge of the um, uh, next years for Allmix. And this, uh, to, to contru construct this, we have to build uh, healthy food chains thanks to algae. And this is symbolized by the One Health Thanks to Algae uh, project. In this project, uh, the goal is to reduce the use of pesticides, antibiotics, and chemicals by providing uh, alternative natural solutions based on algae. And this in the plant, uh, animal, and human care uh, sectors. For this, for 20 years now, the Olmix group is um, uh, using uh, mineral clays and trace elements and uh, with a visionary ID, uh, Hervé Balusson started to work and to bet on algae for the next uh, future. So why algae? Because algae is natural, so it's a, it has a good image, because it's a renewable resource, so it's uh, perfectly sustainable. Algae grow very fast, and you can uh, uh, collect a lot of algae. And uh, now, uh, Olmix is uh, really taking care of all the sourcing of this uh, algae, so they can collect uh, the products and trace it till the final product. And of course, algae have very potential properties because they contain a lot of nutrients and exceptional ingredients. So if we go a bit more in the algae properties, so on top of the nutrients properties, so because it contains a lot of minerals and vitamins, the algae have also texturizing properties, so they can be used in feed and food application as uh, thickeners or emulsifiers, for example. And less known, but discovered by Olmix Group uh, for, uh, in 2006, algae contains structural polysaccharides that can be mixed or complexed with uh, clays and to produce uh, algal clay new materials. So that was, uh, for example, the case of the discovery of amadeite, amadeite in 2006 that was an uh, interlayered material, so you can see some uh, pillars made some algae extract to increase the size of the layers um, in, uh, in the clay, and it gives a lot of properties to this uh, new material. But also, another patented product is uh, technology of the exfoliated clay. Here, it's to um, totally, bro let's say, broken the structure of the clay to have a very high potential contact surface of the clay with different ingredients. And so you increase also a lot the property of the, uh, of the clay uh, for different applications. So texturing properties, structural properties, but also, of course, uh, biological activities. In fact, the biological activities of the algae can be used for plants, animals, and humans and they are especially based on the marine sulfated polysaccharides. These um, molecules can be extracted from algae, and they have uh, a lot of properties because they have a tridimensional structure. You can see from the picture there are uh, units of sugars that are branched together to make a tridimensional structure, but they also contain different sugars, and especially rare sugars like rhamnose, that gives them a lot of properties. And final uh, component is the sulfate content, 
And with this sulfate contained this, and these rare sugars, they have a lot of um, analogy with some uh, animal uh, polysaccharides, and that gives them their unique uh, biological properties. If we look at the different um, properties they can have, uh, they can be a biostimulant for plants, they can boost the plant uh, own defense, and for animals and humans, they have, uh, for example, immunomodulating properties, anti-hyperlipidemic properties, uh, mucin secretion properties, antioxidant, anti-tumors, antiviral, and anti-stress. So you can see the huge potential of these uh, marine polysaccharides. And maybe, and I'm sure there are a lot of more uh, that can be discovered, so we are at the beginning of the knowledge about uh, algae products. And uh, so all these properties from algae can really uh, serve the whole food chain, so the plant uh, division, the animal division, and the uh, human division. And that's why uh, Olmix decided to create really three business units with dedicated people, with professional people. So for plant care, it's under the brand Melspring, with professional people on the vegetal sector. In animal care, it's uh, under the brand Olmix, also with professional people from nutrition, from uh, raising animals. And then under the brand uh, Amadeite, it's a new uh, human care uh, division with also dedicated people. That's uh, to be the more efficient and the more close to the customers as possible. So if we go for all these uh, different uh, activities, so for um, Melspring, so the goal is really to grow the plant better, to better feed animals and humans through integrated plant health management. The goal is to make the plants healthier, to reduce the use of pesticides, and to, to make them more resistant to diseases. Will we uh, tackle this problem with one natural pesticide only? No, for sure, there is no miraculous product, even in algae. So the goal of uh, Melspring is really to build complete programs to grow plant better. Uh, it will, uh, they will have a program for soil nutrition, uh, soil structure, plant nutrition and biostimulation, but also to, to uh, amplify the natural defense of the plants. And this, with the global program, we can, uh, we can really have some success on the field. If we go just uh, to give you some example, they have the patented uh, Marathon range that is uh, well known uh, in, the, in the field. So it's based on the long, uh, special uh, technology that makes the nutrients have a long release, so you can use less and with more efficiency. And it is also based on organic material, so it's a sustainable product. And more recently, they have uh, launched the CML range. The CML range is uh, dedicated to biostimulate and increase or amplify the natural defenses of plants. It's again, you can see four products. It's a synergistic range because we really uh, believe in, uh, in uh, synergies and in programs to, to have the best efficacy. It is based on algae extract that have proven to have a, a role in the signal exchange, so they can warn the plants that will activate its own defenses. So if the plant is, has a better defense, they can better resist to stress and to diseases, and you can expect better quality of crops and better yields. And you can, of course, the goal is to reduce the use of pesticides. I can show you some uh, very uh, new trials data. So with the CML range application, you can see uh, on the right, uh, with the program of Melspring, you can reduce the mildew uh, problems or disease in uh, vinivitis. And if you apply it on corn, for example, you can increase the quality of the roots, and so you can make a better resistant, better uh, uh, crop quality. And uh, just, we are just on time on that, so you can see Melspring has a, a lot of solutions. We are just on time because last uh, Friday, it was an announcement that uh, the French court has um, uh, confirmed that Monsanto was guilty for the poisoning of a French farmer 
uh, with uh, one pesticide. So really, uh, at the moment, is, there is a, a growing awareness from um, uh, regulation, but from all the people that we have to move for a new uh, agriculture. And just to tell you that uh, Melspring is doing, uh, is exploiting his program in three domains of expertise that are tough horticultures on crop to deliver um, LCR plant and better quality uh, product to humans and animals. Then, if we go to the second um, uh, strategic business for all mix, the, it's, so it's um, animal care. So here we have to improve performance by re uh, while respecting the animal welfare and with reducing the use of antibiotics. Again, should we look for one additive to, uh, to substitute uh, antibiotics? No, for sure we have to look for global solutions. And uh, we have to structure an offer with synergistic effect. And in fact, we can uh, take the example of antibiotics because even antibiotics, they have double actions. They are antimicrobial, but they are also anti-inflammatory effect. So already one antibiotic is uh, playing on synergy uh, game. And if we look at uh, the plan EcoBio uh, 2017, so that uh, uh, target the reduction of 25% of antibiotics in 2017 in France, in fact, they recommend to target five axes and 40 measures that will focus on biosecurity, vaccination strategy, feed formulation, and use of alternative feed uh, additive. So you see here also, it's not only one solution, but uh, one uh, global program that will lead to, to success. So that's why the strategy of all mix is to have um, uh, global programs and to place the animal at the interface of two ecosystems. So first, the external ecosystem, and we will uh, try to improve the hygiene of the environment. And then the internal ecosystem, so the own body of the animal, and we will uh, target with uh, the global program of Allmix five uh, main functionality that will have um, impact on the health of animals. So environmental hygiene, mycotoxin risk, digestive efficiency, uh, immunity, and digestive welfare. And uh, do we have to um, involve only one actor in this uh, challenge? No, we uh, believe also in all mix that the strategy is to involve the whole chain. So that's why uh, in the all mix range of products, we have products for farm, for vet and for feed. So they can be applied at each step of the uh, whole chain of the animal uh, nutrition and health. Just to um, give you a bit more details about the five main functionalities that we target. So for environmental hygiene, the challenge is to reduce the bacterial loads in the, and the parasites load in the environment. So, because if there are so too many bacteria, they can, this can lead to a sanitary problem, so to poor performance and to diseases. And then, uh, of course, uh, people or farmers will use a lot of antibiotics. So, the solution uh, given by Allmix is uh, to dry the environment to reduce the bacterial loads. So, with a product called Mistral that is based on the um, clay processing technology. In fact, it's a soft grinding of uh, momarionite to preserve the structure and to be able to dry the environment uh, very rapidly with homogeneous uh, size of particle. And uh, so this will lead to a stress reduction and to reduction of uh, problems, sanitary problem in the farm. And so it will contribute to the reduction of antibiotics. Then, why mycotoxin risk? because uh, mycotoxins are uh, contaminated uh, more than 25% of the crops on the planet. Mycotoxin at low level in polycontamination, so it means with um, different uh, kind of uh, uh, mycotoxin, they will reduce the immune response of the animals and they will impair the gut function. 
So the um, animals will be more uh, sensitive to uh, microbes or to virus, and so the um, therapeutic treatment will be less uh, efficient. So this will uh, for sure lead to the uh, higher use of antibiotics. Digestive efficiency, the challenge is to have an efficient digestion of the feed because if you don't digest very well, you have a lot of uh, high amount of uh, non-digestive feed in the in intestine and colon that will fermentate and that will lead to potential digestive troubles. So it will uh, lead to the use of antibiotics also. So the answer uh, of all mix, the strategy is to boost the digestion. And this can be done by two ways. First, in the feed, we can improve the activity of digestive, digestive enzymes. This is done by the also an algo clay patented technology. So here is the exfoliated clay to have a higher uh, contact surface uh, of the clay with uh, enzymes and with the substrate. So it will stimulate the activity of the enzymes and it will also bring some cofactors to, um, to make the digestive enzymes work better. So you boost the enzymes so you better valorize the feed and you have better digestion, so less digestive troubles. And in farm, we have uh, products uh, in the four vet range, the Digesty, that is based on the specific MSP. So we have seen different potential activity of uh, uh, marine sulfitic polysaccharide. Here we have selected the um, anti-hyperlipidemic ones that will prevent the fat overload in the liver and that will prevent or protect the digestive organs. So with these two products, at farm or at fee in feed, we can um, contribute to have a better digestive efficiency and so contribute to reduce antibiotics. Regarding digestive welfare, it's more developed on the uh, young animals that have, uh, that can, uh, that have more uh, problems to digest uh, and that can lead to poor uh, growth and um, digestive problems. So people uh, in front of poor performance will use a lot of antibiotics. And so the answer is to protect the digestive tract. This can be done by two ways. So first, uh, an, a specific algae extract that is uh, stimulating the production of mucins. Mucins are part of the of our components of the uh, mucus that protect the intestinal tract. So if you increase the layer of mucus, you will protect your uh, animals from uh, the microbe from entering the digestive tract. And other pr proposal from Allmix is also based on clay processing technology. So with a very, uh, um, with a technical um, process to grind uh, the clay, they are able to micronize it and to select particles under seven micron millimeter. So uh, when put in the water, it will make a kind of gel, a coating gel that will protect also the intestinal mucosa. So with these two aspects, algae and clay, we are able to propose a full range of um, products dedicated to prevent or to improve the digestive welfare in, for, for um, broilers, for calves, but also for um, piglets. So it will uh, also contribute to reduce the use of antibiotics. And finally, the last, um, last functionality we target is immunity, because uh, immunity is constantly challenged, especially in uh, young animals, because we ask animals to produce more and more and quicker and quicker, so a lot of uh, stress for the animals. Uh, moreover, during uh, the production, they are confronted to weaning, transfer from houses, vaccination programs. We have seen mycotoxin can also reduce the immune system. So if you have a, a bad immune system, the animals will be higher, highly sensitive to viruses and pathogens, and this will lead to diseases and, of course, the use of antibiotics. So solution proposed by Olmix is to uh, reinforce immunity. And this is uh, based also on very specific uh, MSP, marine uh, polysacc sulfated polysaccharide, so that uh, have proven to be able to stimulate the uh, innate and active immunity. 
I think it was presented last, uh, last BAT. So the product uh, can be used uh, to reinforce uh, natural defenses, to improve young, natural, young animals' resistance to, tr to stress, and we have a lot of data also proving that it supports vaccination program. So it can really help um, and contribute to reduce the use of antibiotics uh, for uh, animals. So you've seen, uh, we propose a global program. So uh, on the external ecosystem, internal ecosystem with five main functionality and involving uh, farmers, veterinarians and feed millers in the food, in the, in the chain. So with that, we expect that thanks to algae, we will be able to reduce or even to ban antibiotics from, uh, from the feed of animals. Final division is uh, the uh, uh, human care uh, division. Goal he also here is to improve human health. This can be done uh, via supplying uh, organoleptic solutions, so uh, based on the texturizing properties of algae. So for people that want natural uh, products, that want eco-labeling, so the goal is to replace all the E uh, numbers by uh, algae products that uh, will give uh, more safety and more uh, healthy product to the human food. Second um, action in the human care is uh, to develop food supplements because uh, we have seen that algae have a lot of uh, uh, biological properties, so uh, these biological activities can uh, bring some health benefits also for humans. And uh, you see here the first range of uh, food supplements based on the uh, all mixed technology and all mixed algae that will be delivered to you uh, very soon. And finally, uh, all mix is also going into the health uh, of directly on the health of humans because uh, uh, we have seen that uh, there can be uh, uh, algae source promoting health molecules uh, in algae and uh, Algae extract have already been uh, identified in the central nervous system disorders, in oncology problem, immunity and infections. And after only three years of uh, preclinical studies, uh, toxicological studies, uh, all mix uh, group already has started its first clinical uh, study on human in the field of uh, central nervous system disorders. So it's a big step forward and we expect a lot from this division too. So you have seen uh, Allmix has built uh, this strategy with three clear uh, divisions, so uh, plant care, animal care, and human care, to, uh, to have professional people to reduce pesticides, antibiotics, and chemical molecules. But what supports Allmix group uh, on this global development? In fact, uh, the R&D here is transversal for the whole group because uh, the algae properties can be uh, used in, uh, in, the, uh, all, uh, in the whole group, so in plant, in uh, animal or um, humans. And so um, all mixed group uh, really believe in R&D because it invests a lot of people and a lot of uh, its revenue, 6%, it's uh, really huge. We have dedicated a biotech center in, um, located in Briand, and we have a lot of partners uh, to develop our products. And uh, this has led to ambitious uh, collaborative pro uh, projects like Ulvan's projects or Algolife and the 14 patents uh, in the group. Then finally, very important is, uh, trans uh, is the process development because uh, you can uh, have uh, a lot of ideas, but you have to turn the project to reality. So it will, uh, it's important to have cost-effective products. So uh, the, the group is also working uh, hard on the development of the process development on algae biorefinery and algae complexation with uh, clay to make uh, efficient, cost-efficient product. 
And finally, just uh, to introduce also the presentation of Thomas, uh, we have a lot of uh, people uh, that do uh, field trials in plant care, but also in animal care, uh, to evaluate our program at larger scale, because it's nice to do it in uh, R&D, but then you have to evaluate it if it's really work. So we do it in challenging condition, and you will have the example of the braised algae chicken that is raised with the full program of all mix uh, to, to reduce the use of antibiotics. So after 20 years, Olmix Group is now ready to serve the planet and to guide you and support you, all our partners, uh, to go towards this new uh, area of uh, healthier and sustainable agriculture uh, and to go for this project, One Health, thanks to algae. And I just advise you to go on our new website. You will see all my presentation, all the details of the products. You can find everything on this uh, totally new website uh, that was launched, launched uh, last Friday. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>